Hi, I have finally today managed to finish. If well, this kind of error is never ever finished, but uh, filled my uh, drum rack. So I think I could make a short video about uh, what's in it and how it works. Uh, first of the, you can see them. So I'll put the names into the description. And the dystopia is blinding everything. There's the Ladik drum girl that uh, is a drum pattern or preset pattern sequencer or clock divider. It has a kick, snare and percussion trigger outputs. And a good friend for it is the drum boy, which the drum girl is whipping into action. The drum boy has kick, snare and percussion samples, two different kicks, two different snares and eight different percussions. And you can tune the kick and snare and uh, adjust volume of them. The, uh, the kick is kind of the default. Uh, between them is uh, uh, two, uh, one to dual one to two uh, switched multiplier. So I can put the bass drum clicker to different uh, places if I need to. Then there is the Erika Sund uh, Pico drums, which has again has different samples. It can play two. Or it has a trigger for two different samples, and it has because I think I, I think it was 64 samples uh, in it, and you can change them and you can adjust them somewhat. I got that yesterday, so I uh, haven't really looked at that so much. And then there is that uh, my DIY bass drum similar. I made a video about in like half year ago. That was twice as wide, so I made a, a narrower version of it. And it says a sytytyskort and firing ball. That's actually some military surplus uh, electronics I bought for like uh, 50 cents and just took the front plate of it, which is, which is exactly the Eurax standard, because, well, I think Finnish and uh, German <laughs> military and uh, industrial complexes have the same and Eurorack the Döpfer being from Germany so yeah uh, then there's the Dystopia uh, uh, beach crusher and filter and well noise generator and next to it there's a two the dual uh, trigger to uh, decay or release generator and next to that is a uh, Quad uh, VCA, so that noise filter and decay and the VCA make a well noise percussion or hi hat sound if I need to, or I can just bit crush or filter some sounds if I want to. The VCA has four channels, so and they have the CV level and init level, so it kind of works like a volume control. And next to them is uh, what I made today, a six channel mixer where two channels have volume control. So, because the Quad VCA has four channels and they all have volume controls, and then the mixer has two that have volume control, I can have six things with volume control. But uh, I think we should bet, uh, listen to this a bit <laughs> also. Uh, so, here's just a uh, default percussion of the drum boy and its bass drum. And it's uh, the drum boy's uh, default snare. Okay, then the, uh, what I have, se have selected in the Urkasund drums bass drum. Just work. Well, I had it construed completely wrong. Wherever that even goes, no? Yeah. And of course, I can have two drums at the same time. Okay, let's then see how does this sound. Huh. 
Then, if we put uh, the Ferguson trigger into this, well, that's very noisy. Oh yeah, those uh, inputs one and two are uh, muted, so the trigger signal from input one goes to also the two if there's nothing there. So we also have the low pass noise there. Yeah, but that's like the basics of it. Uh, I'll change it, uh, uh, wiring a bit, and let's see how it sounds with a bit of uh, other instruments. Yeah, okay, let's uh, put this, I have this, uh, what is this, uh, Korg SQ64 that I also got yesterday, which I really don't know how to use yet. Uh, it has a real simple beat and a couple of even simpler, uh, well, melodic tracks. One from, one goes to Behringer Neutron and other goes to whatever I have happened to have in that uh, my main rack, so 